Hello my friends, it's Gabriel with The Last Huntsman Channel here. And today, I'm out here again with another knife. I'm going to be testing and reviewing. It's going to be the White River Knives FC 3.5. Now this is a little different too. It's S35VN and this is kind of one of my first experiences with S35VN and though I'm not a big stainless guy, I'm actually pretty impressed with this one. Let's check it also, out. Also, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, that really helps me out. Comment too. I like to hear your guys' thoughts. Uh, another thing is too, if you're looking for a great Kydex sheath for your knife, especially like an EDC knife, be sure to check out Armatus Carry. He, I've been getting products from him for quite some time, and I really, really, really enjoy his knife sheaths. Um, this is the one for that I have for the FC 3.5, and um, something with that being said, I have a coupon code. It's Last Huntsman, all caps, all one word, for a coupon code to get a little bit off of your Armatus right, carry. So. To the FC 3.5, what was one of the main things that attracted me to this knife was the fact that it was made out of S35 VN steel, or which is a stainless steel. Now, like I said earlier, I'm not m much for stainless steel generally. However, I wanted at least one little EDC fixed blade that I can carry if I'm like going out kayaking or or out on the lake or or just wherever you know if I, I'm going to be in a lot more humid and wet environment or if I'm just wearing swimming trunks and you know I can't really EDC something very well I can still EDC this and I have actually taken this out with me a few times out swimming and kayaking and this knife actually has not experienced any rust or anything like that which you know I know stainless only means stainless and not like completely rust proof however it does work pretty good and the reason why I also put an ulti clip on here was because you know, like I said, if I'm out kayaking or something, I could just clip this into my, like, swim trunks and just carry this on my person, which is originally why I got this knife. I have the uh, White River Knives FC 3.5. Now, this ain't going to be any kind of heavy batoner because it's literally only a 3.5 inch blade. However, I like to test things and... I think their S35VN steel can hold up to some decent abuse. And there we see it does some decent batoning. Has a high saber grind, so it's gonna split things pretty good. Got the White River Knives FC 3.5. We're gonna try to do some feather sticks. Now I admit that I'm not always the best at this. This knife actually does really good. It bites in well. All right, so with the uh, FC 3.5. I'm going to be using my uh, homemade little deer antler fire steel. We're going to just try using the uh, stick here with the uh, black and white fire starter kit. 
Gonna try using just some feather sticks to get a fire going. Oh yeah, that stuff automatically just catches. All right, so I have the White River Knives Firecraft 3.5 or FC 3.5. There's a reason why it's called that. It strikes a rod. Absolutely amazing. Let's see if I can get fire going with this. There we go. Not going to really make anything too big. It's not really that cold out. But the White River Knives FC 3.5. Absolutely amazing little fire starter knife. Alright, some, some uh, specs on the uh, White River Knives FC 3.5 is... It's three and a half inch blade. I don't know the overall length offhand, but uh, it looks like to me it's roughly about eight inches or so. So take that what you will. I have the G10 orange handles on here, but there's probably about 10 different handles you can get on here. Now it has a little ring on it. I don't think this ring is meant to like put your finger in and do some like, like you know tactical stuff with it i think it's just meant to kind of have as a little pommel to grab onto um it's also one eighth inch thick high saber grind and s35vn all right so another task i'm going to do with the uh white river knives fc 3.5 and i'm going to just do some notch making here Perfect little square notch. Do one that you would use for a tent stake. It's a great little crafting knife. You know, I know it's specifically the fire craft, but just this nice little handy knife makes it great for just doing tasks around the camp. Alright, so another task I'm going to do with the uh, FC 3.5. So I'm just going to do some slicing with it. And just kind of get a good feel for how it feels. Now I will say, like I said, the handle is really thin. So I almost want to grip it kind of like uh, Jacob Peterson's uh, Adventure Craft Knife. Just kind of grip it with my fingers more so than the palm of my hand. And just kind of go from there. Now, this knife, with a high saber grind and 1 8 inch thick stock, is actually a very, very slicey knife. And that was one of the things that attracted me to it as well. Now, this is a hardwood, so it's not as easy to slice as the cedar that I usually work with. But, something else to take note on too, is because it's stainless, you don't really, you know, have to worry about it rusting as much. And so, this would actually, especially with the orange handles and stuff, I actually think would make a great hunting knife. And, you know, not only for its slicing and stainless capability, but also just the fact that you can really kind of grip up on it. And it's actually very comfortable to grip like that. And just use that belly for skinning or meat processing or, you know, field dressing uh, game animal. So this knife would be a great little, uh, you know, bushcraft slash hunter's knife. All right, so I'm still out here with the 
White River Knives FC 3.5. Um, so another task I'm going to try is, could this be a potential decent little, like, EDC tactical defensive knife? And I'm going to actually just give my straight up opinion right off the bat. I think, yes, it has a good guard. It's fairly squared in the handle. It's not going to redirect itself or anything like that. So let's just give it a try and get a feel for it. Let's try some stabbing. Just test that tip a little bit. I don't want to get too stupid with that S35BN. But I am doing a little bit of prying. And the tip is still holding up. Not really much of a stabber. It has kind of a fairly... It's kind of a modified spear point. I would say. However, I think it can work pretty decently well if you just want something small, EDC, tactical, bushcraft, I guess, do-all purpose knife. All right, my friends, I'm going to wrap this video up. Uh, this is the uh, White River Knives FC 3.5. What's my overall thoughts on it? I actually will say I should have reviewed this knife a long time ago. I've had this knife for quite a while, but I actually really enjoy using this knife. This knife surprises me every time I use it. Um, it's a great little, if you want, just a stainless steel option for EDC fixed blade. This is a pretty good option. I think it's a great little field knife, hunting knife. Could be, you know, a pseudo oh, uh, self-defensive knife i don't think that's really it's calling but it actually kind of has the ergonomics and such that you would need for that too uh i i personally keep this knife in my backpack so it's like my one of my go bag knives because just i like having a knife that has a 100 percent solid 90 degree spine and it's kind of nice having the stainless steel option sometimes so with all that being said be prepared but physically and spiritually god bless and carry on